Hello everybody! So um, today I'm just going to be drawing some character design and I guess I'm going to be drawing some sort of king or something, I don't know. So you sh uh, I'm just sketching out some really loose line first. He's going to be an older gentleman, a little on the heavy side, have some cape or something. At first I thought I was going to do Eddard Stark, but then I was like, nah, Eddard's not. I want something heavier, right? So now we have like a pretty rough line. Maybe you have like puts a little bit of armor on so and usually if you're gonna draw uh, something on computer that make it look a little more like pencil you gotta pick uh, the opacity around dark gray because if you pick black it won't look like pencil and brush I just use regular brush default I'm gonna set up his face a little bit so you can get some beard I the this line for the eyes and the nose and then chest area, maybe a little bit of cape, chest poke out a little bit more. King Robert, <laughs> I'm gonna give him hammer. Um, Robert Baratheon, if you guys know Game of Thrones and probably know who I'm talking about. King Robert in a cartoony ways. Yeah, do you want our... Uh, so now I'm gonna lower this line a bit and I'm gonna go draw on top. Uh, since it's not painting you can just zoom in it's totally fine because you're not messing up the value anyway it's just gonna be a bunch of line and plus I established all the shape and silhouette already but if you haven't established uh, the overall shape I wouldn't recommend going in because you're gonna probably mess up the proportion. Uh, flipping the canvas is to check your proportion basically and usually if you check the face and if you flip if your face look weird that's mean uh, if your face look wrong to begin with and you flip it you will probably know and see where you should fix it let's zoom out again and since it's going to be about 30 minutes so i'm going to have to work a little faster see so i have all these lines underneath so that it helped me just kind of guide me through the whatever that i'm going to add detail and you see when i'm drawing a beard i'm using this line to kind of contour with the beard and um, now I'm going to give him a crown. So let's see. Let's do it this way. So this uh, it's going to be curved a little bit since you're going to see the head from... It's like if you have a body like this way, right? So in the middle, it's going to be your perspective line. And here you're going to see from the bottom. Then you're going to see it from the top. So um, the naturally the crown will face this way because you're looking up from the horizontal line if I have to add more detail I'm going to use the line if I have more uh, simple drawing then I don't usually <coughs> I will use thicker line if the drawing is a little more simple and a lot of time if you don't know what you're doing I would recommend like you know, google some image of people like what do we want to draw uh, guys in a cloak uh, take a look at the cloak what the cloaks look like because most likely uh, I see a lot of my students draw a cloak but they're drawing it kind of wrong <laughs> so if you look at Google do you, you know like what they actually look like and use reference wisely uh, you can copy only when you do studies but and that yeah everything is fine do some copy, screenshot is a good way to do some studies, uh, master study is always good. Layer is, yeah, for convenient. Just you can layer however you like. You come in time, you know, when you know how to add a certain like in here I have some different layers so it doesn't I don't have to go over and erase a bunch of those and go erase and corner that's why I don't put it on the layer because otherwise I have to zigzag go into a little corner and erase it which that would waste a lot of production time and time is money so okay now I'm gonna add like maybe some kind of stack or something, I don't know. A 
some kind of design. Traditional media is important because in Photoshop, if you do Photoshop all the time, you have convenient control Z. Um, traditional media will train you to not screw up. Because <laughs> if you do, um, you are going to, well, it will make you a lot faster artist. Like, especially if you draw with pen. I used to draw with pen all the time, uh, go drive drawing because there's no chance that you can erase. So the split second decision of drawing something down in the, in the paper on the pen, it can really make you a better artist by you know, just deciding what to put on and what not to put on. Um, and when it translates into painting, it works pretty good. Uh, because in painting, you're going to have to make hard decisions like whether you should put this on or not. Um, so traditional is going to help you uh, with your foundation and all that, for sure. What is... Yeah, it helps your thought process and, you know, drawing is not just just a matter of draw. You have to think about what is involved. Uh, it's in, include like decision-making process, like which line you should put on and which line you should leave out, and which value is uh, going to be more important than whatever the other value that you can use. Folding, you know, which way is fold. Um, like the, the cloth are hanging, uh, which way is the cloth going to hang and when the hair flow, like it should flow which way, or uh, the material, all kinds of, it's involved just more than just the sake of drawing a pretty line. 